I now call the Prime Minister. Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, a few weeks ago, I commissioned an independent inquiry into a series of events in Downing Street and the Cabinet Office, as well as some other Whitehall departments that may have constituted potential breaches of the COVID regulations. That process has quite properly involved sharing information continuously with the Metropolitan Police, so I welcome the Met's decision to conduct its own investigation because I believe this will help to give the public the clarity it needs and help to draw a line under matters. But I want to reassure the House, Mr Speaker, and the country that I and the whole Government are focused 100% on dealing with the people's priorities, including the UK's leading world role in protecting freedom. What I can tell you this morning is that as a result, firstly, of the information provided by the Cabinet Office inquiry team, and secondly, my officer's own assessment, I can confirm that the Met is now investigating a number of events that took place at Downing Street and Whitehall in the last two years in relation to potential breaches of COVID-19 regulations. My officers have assessed several other events that appear to have taken place at Downing Street and Whitehall. On the available information, these other events are assessed as not reaching the threshold for criminal investigation. Throughout the pandemic, the Met has sought to take, as I have said, a proportionate approach. I should stress that the fact that we are now investigating does not, of course, mean that fixed penalty notices will necessarily be issued in every instance and to every person involved. We will not be giving a running commentary on our current investigations, but I can assure you that we will give updates at significant points, as we would generally do. And finally, I would just say, you mentioned a num number of other matters that you are clearly frustrated about, and, and no doubt some other people as well.